So you started running Facebook lead gen ads and now you are generating a good number of leads. But the problem is every time you generate the leads, you actually have to go to Facebook platform, download the leads and then share it with your clients or with your sales team. Now that's a very long process. It will take a lot of time. And in fact, by the time you download the leads, share it with your uh, you know, sales team or with your client, the lead might get cold. What if I tell you there is a way by which whenever you generate leads on Facebook, you can send notification on Gmail to your sales team, to your clients with the details of the leads with email ID with phone numbers directly as soon as you generate the leads and that's all totally for free. Now that is what we are going to learn in this video. So whenever we talk about automation, the first thing comes in mind is Zapier. But Zapier is a little bit costlier platform. You can do this very cost effective from other platform also. And one such platform which I use personally is Pabli Connect. So let's look at the pricing of uh, this particular tool, Pabli Connect. I will also drop a offer link in the description. Uh, you can check that link out and you can get all these offers uh, which they are offering. Uh, but if you see, you know, uh, for free, you can get 100 tasks every month, which means if you're generating 100 leads a month, this is more than enough for you. You do not have to pay anything else. But if you're generating more than 100 leads a month, you can go ahead with their standard or pro plan. Standard plan is enough. You can see 12,000 tasks every month for just $14 a month. If you see, you know, comparatively, they have mentioned their APF charges also, which charges around $74 a month for 2000 tasks, which is why, you know, I like Pabli Connect. It is very, very, you know, uh, cost effective. So this is what we are going to uh, use. Just click on sign up for free and try this tool out. And once you click on sign up, I've already signed up. Uh, this is the window you are going to go up into and then just click on uh, Pabli Connect access now and you will come into the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now if you see, um, you know, already I have 100 free tasks available for me for this month. Now I am going to set up a new automation by which every time Facebook generates a lead, I will get a notification on email or my clients will get the notification on the email or sales team will get a notification on the email. So let's do that, create a workflow. Let's create the workflow, name it as uh, FB leads to Gmail. Well, I'll just name it as, as simple as that. And here are we with the uh, setup. So the first thing it is going to ask me the trigger and trigger is going to be the Facebook leads. Uh, which means the lead forms. So I'll just choose Facebook lead ads. Okay, so that's the trigger I will choose. And then trigger event is going to be new lead. So whenever this, uh, you know, lead form generates a new lead, you know, that is going to be my trigger event. And then I will click on connect after that. So I'll go with a new lead instant and then connect. And it is going to ask me to connect to my Facebook account. Okay, so for me, I already have a connection. That's why I am on select existing connection. But you, since you're doing it for the first time, you will not have this particular option. You go ahead with add new and connect to your Facebook account. Just allow a few things. It will automatically connect to your Facebook account. I'll choose with select existing connection and then I will just go ahead and save. So once you connect your Facebook account onto this, you will come onto this screen where it is going to ask you the Facebook page. So select the Facebook page on which you are generating leads. For me, it is my page. So I'll just select that. Uh, you can just click on drop down and select the uh, correct page. And after that, select the form here. So uh, for me, it is lead form three. So I'll just go ahead with that. But if you want, you can select other forms also, you know, just click on the drop down and select the correct form from which you are generating the leads in your page. After that, just click on save and, uh, you know, send test request. So I'll just click on that and it will start, you know, uh, waiting for web webhook response. Now what we need to do is we need to generate or give it a sample data sample lead so we will generate a sample lead for which what i will ask you to do is go to google and search for lead ads testing tool 
okay search for this on google you will uh, you know come across this first link testing and troubleshooting marketing api just click on this particular link and after that it is going to you know give you this link you can use this tool okay so let's click on this tool and you will come to this particular screen your page is selected here my form is also selected here if it is not selected just click on the drop down and select the correct page and correct form after that what we will need to do is just create create a lead so i'll just click on create lead the lead is created and if you come back here so now if you see it has captured the dummy data also so this is the data we are interested in email full name phone number and i think that's all so once we have the data now now let's come on to the next section you can either click on plus or i'll just open this one and now here i'll click on gmail and click on gmail and it is going to ask me action event action event is send mail and then click on connect so next it will ask us to connect to a gmail account but before you connect to your uh, any gmail account uh, what i would like to mention is this is going to be a sender's account not receiver's account receiver account is nothing but to which you want to send the email for example your clients your sales teams gmail account right but that is not what we are going to connect here we are going to connect the sender's account from which the emails will go okay so that can be your own account your or you can create a dummy account and you know dummy gmail account and connect to that from which the emails will go and to which to whom the emails go uh, that will be the client's account or the sales team's account right so let's connect to a dummy account or your own account from which the emails will go so i'll just click on add new connections and just connect to gmail and it is going to ask me to sign up I will sign up here, select all these options and then click on continue and that's it. Okay, so we are now connected to a Gmail account and then I will fill a recipient email address. This is nothing but uh, the client's email address or a sales team email address to which you want to send the email to. Okay, so uh, I'll just put that here. CC, BCC, you can just leave it sender's name. So I'll just put the business name here or just my own name. You know, it is just going to be the sender's name. So I'll just, I have just put it as lead school. Subject line for me, I'll just put the subject line as new lead generated. Okay. And then after that reply to, you can leave it as it is. Email content, just uh, keep it as it is as plain. And then let me just show you how to fill this information. So just type in new lead generated. And after that, what we want is name so for name we want the data from uh, the full name so this is the name is going to be and then for email what you will have to do is uh, you will have to just select on again this option and then this is going to be the email and then uh, phone i'll just select the phone so again select on this option and this is the phone phone number okay so this is the detail i want to send to my sales team or my clients whenever the lead is generated and after that you can just mention thanks or whatever the end credits and that's all okay so that is what i want the email to be sent okay and then file name you can leave it blank attachment leave it blank and just click on save and send test request once you click on that it says the email is sent so now let's check our gmail account we have received an email here you can see and here is the data so the email has come from lead school and you can see the email you know data here obviously this is a dummy data but when you get the actual leads actual lead data you will see all of this information so every time a lead is generated you will or your clients will or your sales team will immediately get the email with all the details of the lead okay so this is how you send leads to your gmail account once this is done what you need to do is just come on top make sure it is on the you know workflow is on and that's it
that's it if you come back to dashboard this is what is a very basic workflow fb leads to gmail account so as i said till 100 tasks a month or 100 leads a month it is going to be very free for you if you go and generating more than 100 leads you can just either go for their lifetime plan for which you can find the link in the description you can go with a lifetime plan or you can also go for a monthly plan same again just check out the link in the des description it is going to cost you very very little to do this automation so yeah for this video that's it let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section below i've also created a video on how to send leads to uh, google sheets and you can share that sheet directly with your sales team or your client and they can have a look at that that is also you can check out here and until next video thank you so much bye bye